MultiCare Health System took over the financially struggling Yakima Valley Memorial Hospital earlier this year. Their goal at the time was to stabilize the hospital and expand services. But now Apple Valley News Now's Emily Goodell tells us the health system was already struggling with its own finances when it took over. Now those struggles are catching up to them. New information shows that at the end of the year when MultiCare was finalizing its plans to acquire Yakima Valley Memorial as its 12th hospital, the system had already lost $287 million in that year alone. I spoke to CEO Bill Robertson when MultiCare took over the Yakima Hospital back in January, and he told me they were planning to invest well over $100 million into local health care. We are not planning cuts to health care services. In fact, our goal is to build new services, expand the services that are here, to reinvest in a way that creates a really stable, easy to access health care system for the people of this region. But they've lost another $121 million since then, attributed to record inflation, staffing shortages, increased labor costs, and stagnant Medicaid reimbursement rates. Now, they're laying off 229 employees across the state, including 37 in Yakima. A multi-care spokesperson says they're getting severance packages and have the option to keep working for another 30 days. Most of the cuts, people working at the hospital or remotely in support departments like risk and compliance, marketing and communications, and supply chain. Quote, retaining roles in patient care was a priority when we made these decisions about staff reductions. Patients of MultiCare Yakima Memorial will not experience any changes to their care or services we offer. But it's unclear what this means for the goals the organization set for Yakima Healthcare back in January, like building an off-site emergency department to help ease pressure on Memorial's ER, which is the busiest in the state, or for their promise to bring stability to the hospital. We're going to be here uh, for, the, for the rest of time, and so uh, this this is just the start of a lot of what we hope is good collaboration, good opportunity to make a difference in this community. Multicare officials say they don't anticipate any more layoffs in Yakima, and since the cuts were made in the support department, patients won't see an impact to services. This is a developing story, and we will keep you updated as we learn more on our website, applevalleynewsnow.com. Reporting in Yakima, Emily Goodell, Apple Valley News Now.